Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a really fun project to share with you for the Just Nick Studio. And I am using this lace or this lattice cut circle cut file. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So what I have done off camera is I cut the cut file out fairly large with uh, white cardstock and my Silhouette Cameo 4. And then I backed the cut file using papers from the 6x6 paper pad from the Happy Bloom collection by Pink Fresh Studio. And I like to back cut files in just in the evenings when we're watching TV. And so that's one of the reasons I don't back cut files on my videos. And the other reason is that it's a little boring to watch um, someone back a cut file. It's kind of a, it's a repetitive process. So... I backed the cut file with pattern papers and then when I had the whole, I so I just backed the portion that was kind of the oval shapes and then I left the rest open and then I took the whole cut file and adhered it to a piece of vellum. So there is vellum behind the pattern paper. And I did that so that when I flip the cut file over and adhere it to the background, it will kind of mute the background under the cut file so that the pattern paper pieces will pop off and they'll be more um, visible with that layer of vellum in between the pattern papers on the cut file and the pattern paper on the background. So I just put some double-sided tape on the back of the cut file where there was pattern paper so that um, I can flip it over and adhere it to my background. So I thought about using a pop dots to adhere it and then I decided that I didn't want quite that much dimension and so I just went with the with the double-sided tape. So I adhered that to my background. Today I'm working with a 4x4 photo that I had printed at Persnickety Prints. They're my favorite place to have my photos printed. And I'll leave a link in the video description below so that you can check them out because they are awesome quality every time. And you can also um, choose your sizes. They have a lot of sizing options. So perfect for scrapbookers. So I have this envelope that from the Happy Blooms collection. And I wrote my journaling on the uh, tag and just slipped it inside that pocket. And I did that just, the journaling isn't necessarily private or anything. But it's, I didn't want to overwhelm the cardstock or the cut file by putting journaling on top of it. So I just have that cute little envelope. I think it works perfectly. And then when I slip it into the page protector, I'll just make a slit right across the top of that envelope so that you can reach in through the page protector and um, pull out the journaling. So again, I'm just using some double-sided tape to adhere the this envelope and the photo to the background. Um, a minute ago you saw that I adhered my photo using pop dots and that's because there was an eyelet, a metal eyelet um, that was raised and I didn't want that to poke through my photo. So I'm using one of my favorite techniques here to um, adhere the string that comes on these little um, envelopes that you get sometimes with Pink Fresh Studio or really any string. Um, I do this for uh, strings that are on my tags as well sometimes. And I basically just loop them around and then I take my fine line glue. So I'm using art glitter glue, art glitter glue today. And I'm just putting the tiniest bit of adhesive on that string and adhering that into place. So I just got a little bit of glue there and I just was making sure that um, 
just to clean that glue up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to start working on is my title. And I don't want a huge title that will overwhelm the cut file or the photo. So I have just these little tiny white foam thickers. They came in one of the Paige Evans collections uh, a few years ago, but I love them. Whenever I can, um, I pick up a pick up a package um, from usually scrapbook.com so that I always have them in my stash because I love they're just the perfect little perfect little letter sticker and there's white on one side and then there's navy on the other side and I love both of them and use them both um, equally so I'm just adhering those letter stickers on the bottom kind of curving around the edge of that circle and then I will move on to embellishing so I kept the embellishment super super minimal on this page I did not want to overwhelm the photo or the cut file. So I have just a couple of die cuts and I wanted to show you what I did with these die cuts. These are the floral die cuts from Pink Fresh Studio. And you'll notice in my right hand there is a really thick white border around that die cut. So, and I didn't like that quite so much of that white border, so I just trimmed that white off and that is what I'm left with or I didn't trim the white completely off I trimmed most of it off so that there's just a really thin um, white border instead of that really thick one so I'm just putting a a die cut there at the bottom of the photo and adhering it with pop dots so it's up on the same level as the photo because remember I adhered that with pop dots as well so I'm putting that right along the bottom and then since I used pop dots to adhere the one in the bottom right I am using pop dots to adhere the one on the top left so we'll just put that into place and then I have two more die cuts that I wanted to um, finish this off with and one of them is just that little purple those little purple flowers and again, I just trimmed the white border off, so I've just got this cute little flower die cut. I'm going to tuck that under the photo in the right, or excuse me, the upper left corner of the photo. And then I'm going to put the butterfly right next to that. And I'm adhering the butterfly with just one pop dot right in the middle um, so that I can kind of bend the wings up and give them a little bit of dimension. So that's just bend them, bend them slightly. You don't want to crease them, but just bend them up slightly and it just gives that little bit of extra texture and dimension to your projects. And I just went back and had to adhere a little bit more of that uh, string in place. It had kind of shifted. So last but not least, I'm going to finish things off with some enamel dots. And I'm just putting a purple enamel dot right in the center of the flower on the upper left. And then I kind of went back and forth. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put some enamel dots around that die cut. And I ultimately decide against it. And I just end up using some pink enamel dots around both of the floral clusters that are around the photo. So with that, this layout is finished. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me. If you haven't done so already, I would love to have you as a subscriber on my YouTube channel. I upload a video each and every Sunday, and then I often have one or two throughout the week as well. So thank you so much for stopping by again. I really appreciate it and we'll see you again soon.